All right, guys, my name is Vito. I just want to show you in this video uh, some really critical points. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be an old school car. It can be a new car, newer car or old school car. So in this video, I'm going to go over something uh, that's really important and you have to actually pay attention to it. Uh, that's the case with this 240 DW123 made in 1981. Um, and someone just wasn't careful. They probably, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to be talking about the, actually the engine oil cooling lines. So the problem is, uh, this car, is that one of the engine cooling lines um, is the actual rubber part is rubbing against the body, which is really bad, especially the, because this engine is diesel and it's actually got a lot of vibration. And I've seen it multiple times actually when not only the engine oil cooling lines uh, are rubbing either against each other or the body, but also like AC hoses or AC lines are just rubbing against each other or the body. And that actually wears them out and can cause really big problems. So you need to really pay attention to that. So if whatever car you have, actually open the hood and check all this stuff. Check the lines, check everything, make sure nothing is rubbing against each other. It's a really big deal, guys. So let me show you an example. All right, guys, so I've been doing so much maintenance to this car. Um, okay, in this engine, exactly. But, all right, don't pay attention to this fan shroud. I actually removed it slightly and so I can have more space but I'm working on these uh, engine oil cooling lines all right so this oil cooler is actually off right now uh, because I disconnected it so it's loose mm, but the problem is down there guys um, let me know if you can note the issue right there all right so you might not be able to see it too well from the top but I'll show you from the bottom and that's a really big problem that I'm trying to fix right now all right, so the problem that I'm trying to fix on this car with these engine oil cooling lines uh, has been there forever, probably. Maybe not forever, I don't know, but uh, it's been like that for quite a while. Um, and one of those engine oil cooling hoses has been, has been rubbing against the body for quite a while. Uh, and it wore a little bit of it off. Uh, not, it's not too bad. I actually caught it right on time. So I'll show it to you guys right now, but this is not the manufacturer defect or anything like that. This is actually someone who wasn't paying attention, who worked on this car before, who knows, maybe 10 years ago or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, that's just all in the past and it's all history now. But um, the fact is that because the person hasn't been or didn't pay attention when they were working on this car or the oil cooling lines, I have to actually do it. So. This is a big deal, guys. This is a big alert to all the car owners out there. BMW, doesn't matter what car you have. Maserati, Lamborghini, all right? This is this is a really big deal, all right? Because probably like 30 or 40% or maybe 50% of the cars nowadays are made out of, there's rubber everywhere, okay? <laughs> rubber lines and everything, okay? So you need to pay attention to that. One more example before I actually show you what happened to this car with this these engine oil cooling lines is look at this AC line right here you see the wear okay now look at this power steering hose do you see the wear this is already fixed up but they used to be touching each other okay and that's a big deal and you can see what uh, this can do this can actually wear off the rubber so please, please check your cars, check all the hoses and all the connections and everything. Guys, we're now under the car, under the 240D, and I'll show you these hoses, these engine oil cooling lines, all right? So this is already pulled out, guys. Uh, it, usually, it usually sits uh, further down there okay but i pulled it out now because i need to loosen this up and fix it but this line okay right over there it's actually it's been rubbing against the body it's been rubbing against that uh a washer fluid mount that's metal and this is actually a big deal and 
these two lines are actually really close to each other which is another big no-no okay they shouldn't be that close to each other because you don't want them to be rubbing against each other once again this is a big deal guys all right guys this is how you loosen these uh, engine oil cooling lines you have to be really careful um, usually it's a good idea to clean these uh, connections right there and you actually have uh, so there's a nut on the inside it's part of the oil cooler and there's a line that attaches to it um, and as you can see I'm using the adjustable wrenches okay two of them one is smaller one is bigger and what you really need to make sure is you always put something on the inner nut so you can counter hold it while you try to loosen this big line because if you don't do that this uh, fitting this inner nut is going to just break off so you're you're just going to trash your oil cooler uh, i've seen that happen before so just go go ahead and pay attention and uh yeah just uh loosen it up sometimes you have to actually use pb blaster or uh you know sometimes heat it actually i've never had to heat up one of these oil cooler lines but uh the patience is the key in this case guys so um yeah i already loosened this one up uh so i'm gonna go ahead and loosen that one and uh uh, once I take these off, when I lose, when actually I don't really have to take these off, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to um, just move this line closer towards uh, the fan, and this one also like closer towards the fan. So, and then afterwards I'll just have to once I, I'll just show you later. <laughs> it's 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 uh, too much talking, but yeah. Go ahead and loosen up your oil cooler okay guys so um just to show you all right this this guy is loose right there all right um but another important tip is when you're loosening these up make sure you have the right size Ooh, the light is dying but make sure you have the right size um nut uh, i'm sorry the wrench and uh, because otherwise you're gonna strip uh the inner nut and most likely this but usually this is a really like hard metal that one is aluminum so uh, you have to use uh, the right size wrenches guys all right for this side i i loosen up the harness uh, i removed that zip tie it's actually a removable zip tie from the factory which is nice and um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and loosen this one up this one is already loose so i can I can see move it around and my camera's freaking out what's going on <laughs> okay guys so now I can grab this guy and move it you see guys I can move this hose and position it so it's not gonna rub anymore against anything that's what we're gonna do and I'm gonna put everything back together Hi guys here's the hoses okay <laughs> it's a lot better now look at this guys all right the only thing you have to pay attention to is this power steering belt okay so you, if you have a worn out uh, engine mount the engine is going to be lower so the power steering belt is going to be closer to the um, uh, that cooling line so you have to be really careful so in this case it's actually pretty good um, there's still a lot of clearance um, over there between the line and the belt um, and uh, what I'm going to do is there's another connection right there I'm gonna loosen that 10 millimeter bolt and I'm gonna move that line maybe if I can uh, towards the rear of the engine maybe that's gonna move it and uh, because there's still some flex to that line and I can probably move it down a little bit um, so that's gonna be the plan but yeah i'm just really happy that i noticed noticed this problem right now it's gonna be perfect uh putting everything back right now and yeah we're almost done guys <laughs> 